the Big Bang theory says that the universe was an infinitely dense point called a singularity and there was no concept of space and time. But the singularity point must exist in a space. So is the Big Bang theory misleading? Well, here's the thing about this Big Bang singularity. We don't know if it was a Big Bang, if there was a singularity at, a big, at the Big Bang or if the space and time, space time was compressed into a, mi- into a minimum quantum of space time. We don't know what it exactly was. But assuming it was a singularity, it wasn't in any place, any point in space or time. The entirety of the universe was compressed into the singularity. So all of space-time was within the singularity. And the singularity, we don't know in what it was. Was it in some other dimensional space-time or not? We have no idea of knowing. As far as, as we know, it is the only thing that existed anywhere. And the entire universe was within it. And something caused this singularity to expand violently, superluminally, and that's what gave rise to the universe. So it's like asking, where did the Big Bang happen? What was the direction? There is no direction. The Big Bang was everywhere. Everything came out of the Big Bang. And similarly, this singularity was everywhere. Everything that we know of, everything that we can observe was within this singularity. So this is the best theory that we have. The singularity did not exist in a space. All of space and time was within the singularity. So this is the best theory that we have. And this is the... uh, it gives us, uh, it explains to uh, in the best way possible what we observe in the universe. And therefore, this is, uh, as far as we know today, this is the correct theory of the, uh, of the evolution of the universe. So I would uh, not say that the Big Bang theory is misleading. It is our interpretation that needs to uh, basically encompass what really happened. There was no space-time outside of the singularity as far as we can tell. Everything was within it.